today I want to talk about my new replacement spear. Um, I have one here and this is the one I've been using for lobstering at the Bahamas and I got a spare one that way I have two on board because they do break and it's great to have two of them but the reason of this video is not just about spear it's about customizing it and making it useful if you look here on this spear I put this little thread here with some epoxy that way when I'm spearing and I'm using my glove good grip glove uh, if I don't have these little rivets here with epoxy this would slip when it's wet even though I have a good grip now when this is wet it's just like butter it slides off your hands and it becomes less efficient when you pull the spear all the way up to here it can slip off your hands real easy so by making this little rivets here with epoxy when I grab with my glove I have a better grip on the water and I'm gonna show you guys today how I do that all I need is some line you can choose any color I rather choose this color so it's always visible and also some epoxy and here's the band that comes with it very nice and sharp you can always sharpen it if you hit it against rocks or anything like that but it's very very sharp all right let's get started okay so what I did here was I placed some electro tape here and I put my line tightly right through here right so that way you feel it's kind of tight that way when I place the epoxy in there it's gonna be no problem and some electrical tape back here now that I place my two parts of epoxy here I'm going to mix it it's better to use a glove in this case better I'm gonna use this longer uh, scraper that way I don't touch the epoxy Okay, now I'm gonna start spreading it. Put it on top like this. And let it fall down a little bit, it's okay. And then I'll put some more. This is what's going to get it really good attached to the uh, to the pole. Gotta make sure you put it all over the thread because that way you get complete coverage and it doesn't um, fall off later. The reason I'm putting it like this is because that way there's no air pockets. Just go like this, press it in. Or will you get any access? Epoxy off. You don't want too much epoxy because by having too much epoxy eliminates the grip. And definitely you want that grip. And that way it's getting harder too. You can feel it. Clean the little bit of the axis here at the end. So now what I have to do here about five, 10 minutes is move the uh, pole in circles that way the epoxy does not drip to one side very important you cannot just lay this around because the epoxy will drip uh, to the bottom so just move it around slowly for about 10 minutes all right those 10 minutes have passed so now what i want to do is i want to cut the thread and also i'm going to cut here on the front too now before it gets hard i'm going to remove the uh, tape there it is. I'm gonna remove the other side. Okay, now that I cut both sides, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix a little bit of epoxy, just a drop. Now right here at the end, I'm going to apply a little bit of epoxy right at that tip that way we get even smoothness when we're using the spear and also on the front here
And I always like to put a little bit of epoxy here because this is the stress point of the uh, rod here. And in the past, I get a little marks here of uh, uh, stress marks. So I'm gonna put a little bit of epoxy here. All right, perfect. I'm just gonna move it around a little bit. All right, right now, two hours have gone by and everything is dry, it's really good. You can touch it after two hours. I'm gonna attach the uh, spear part. All right, so now what I'm using the spear with my glove and I stretch this portion. I'll be able to reach right here and then just release. So that's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna have an excellent grip right here with a glove instead of just sliding up and down. Even though I have a great grip on this glove, this on the water will slip. Now this is gonna have a better grip uh, on the spear. Beautifully done. Uh, I'm gonna use this one only as fair uh, because they do break, especially the pointer. Uh, it could break and anything can happen out there. Uh, and if I'm out there for a couple of days at the Bahamas and I lose this pole, at least now I have a secondary one that I can use for uh, emergencies. All right guys, so now I am ready to go to the Bahamas, but I am waiting on weather. And also my passport is being renewed. Um, I send it in and the US government uh, could take 10 to 20 weeks to send me my new passport. Um, so right now I'm just waiting for my passport and ready to head to the Bahamas. So hopefully soon I'll get my passport and the weather collaborates and I'll be heading to the Bahamas. All right guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys found this video helpful. How to make your slingshot spear uh, perform better. Remember in the Bahamas, you're not allowed to have spear guns, but you can have slingshots like this or Hawaiian slingshots. Um, they're the only ones that are allowed as a matter of fact, when I was at Customs um, on the last trip, there was a gentleman there that came from the U.S. He had two spear guns, his favorite spear guns, and Customs took it away. And what they do with them, they destroy them. That's what the custom officer said, that they don't resell those poles, they don't sell them to nobody, they just destroy them. I felt sorry for the captain because he said they were very precious uh, spear guns to himself. All right, so that's just to let you guys know. Do not arrive at the Bahamas with a spear gun because they will take it away from you. It isn't legal to have a spear gun over there. But the slingshots or Hawaiian slingshots, um, they do allow them at the Bahamas. All right, guys, and I will place the link in the description below on the epoxy. And I'll also place the link in the description below for the full spear that I use. Now they have another one that it breaks up, I believe, in half. I will also place the link in the description below. If you don't have a lot of room in your boat, this is about seven foot. So if you don't have the room in your boat, they do sell one that is i believe cut in half and you can just attach it yourself i will also will place the link in the description below on that sphere all right guys thank you for watching and soon hopefully i'll be able to visit the bahamas and bring you guys new footage thank you for watching and always navigate safe are you still out here